Okay, so before we go inside the van and have a good look around as to how it's been fitted and underneath, I thought we'd take the opportunity to explain basically the principle of how it all goes together. So if we have a look down here on the table, we've got the components. So it all revolves around this particular unit here. So let's have a bit of a look at that. So underneath are a series of ports. They are sitting on this particular base plate, which we'll see. But those ports are important for one, metering. The metering is coming from the fuel and that uses this particular fuel pump. There's an inlet and an outlet for bringing the fresh air in and removing the gases via the exhausting. So the exhaust, those, those outlets are connected by these particular units over here. So this is the inlet hose and this here is our muffler exiting. And we'll, we'll have a real good look at how that fits underneath the van. Then we have our distribution air outlets. So we are using these particular outlets to connect our ducting to. And the other end of the ducting goes to the unit. There's an inlet and an outlet. Let's, let's have a look at a bit of the unit. We'll actually take it apart a bit and help you to show you how it works. So if we take these covers off. So down this end here, we have a fan that's spinning and that's bringing air into the unit. Remembering underneath the, the uh, fuels coming in and this is our combustion chamber process. So this whole area gets very, very warm. What's happening is the air comes in, passes over this heat exchanger and then exits out that duct into our RV. And therefore it circulates around and that's what's doing the heating process. All this is, is controlled electrically. So if we come down the other end of the table, let's have a look at the electrics. The unit is controlled by a little microprocessor. This particular unit will, uh, explains the fan, the temperature, and it also has fault codes on it to, if we need to fault find. And it has the thermostat controller unit on as well. In addition to that, all the wiring is already pre-terminated for us. Comes with a couple of inline fuses, and it's really just a case of connecting all these fittings together. So, I think what we'd be do now is have a good look at how it all goes together inside the RV.